Hi everyone, this is my fourth, um, I was going to say laundry haul, yeah, uh, grocery haul for August. These are more like full and things, so we have bananas as per usual. You're probably thinking, what do these people do with all those bananas? Well, that sounded weird. You know what I mean. Never mind. It wasn't even meant to be a joke, I don't know. So we got bananas, and then I got some Swiss cheese. I bought Polly some sliced. I love Swiss cheese. I usually get this uh, in cheddar, and I'm getting sick of cheddar all the time. And my stomach needs some cheese, so I thought I'd either grate this or cut it. I probably cut it real thin and eat it. I don't know. Swiss is pretty hard, so I don't know if it cuts like cheddar, but I thought I'd get that. We have some cool wood for either um, banana pie or some other pie, some kind of pie. But look what it says. All kinds of ideas. It says, make smoothies delicious. Have you ever added this to your smoothie? I haven't, but it's good to add extra calories like folly. Um, layer and desserts. You know, I didn't know people put these in the freezer. I mean, I can't. My freezer's broke, but I put them right in my fridge because I usually use them up. But that looks like a pound cake with Cool Whip in the middle, strawberries on top, Cool Whip, and Cool Whip on waffles. Never thought of that. Just, it says, eat like ice cream. Never thought of that. That'd be good since, you know, ice cream doesn't work too well, but we have a plan how we do ice cream. Does anyone remember? I told it several times. Dip with fruit, good idea. When I used to make chocolate covered strawberries, I put a uh, cool up in the middle, like a tray, you know, like they do a charcuterie board now with a kind of oh, dessert tray. And a hot chocolate, I gotta remember to try that in the fall or winter. Whenever it cools down, I can't wait till this hot weather goes far away. So, yeah, I wonder if this will be easy to cut. So, I really wanna change up my cheese. Now, I'm a person, I'm a creature of habit. Polly, he likes to switch things around, which is good, you know? You should. So, um, we ran out of pretzels. I always like to have pretzels in the house. For my nausea, it doesn't look like they're very salty. They haven't been lately. What's the date? Nope, not good. October. I don't know when this will come out. I'm filming this in August, but it shouldn't expire in October, so I don't know what's going on. Pretzels are usually way out. And these are mini chocolate chips, and I'm going to use it for something that I said. There's two things I said that never work out for me, man. I make stuff. Now, I can make gourmet meals, and I can make torts, and I can do it all, and I can cook good and bake good. But there are two things. Comment below if you remember. What are the two things that don't turn out when I make it? Please remember. And as I said, Polly likes to try new things. He tried these because they're on sale, and they're still on sale. Trisket dill, sea salt, and olive oil. And he said, once we got the order, he says, you know, I got it, Mom, because you love dill. Now, of course, I can't eat these Triscuits at all. They would totally choke me, but I kind of just put in my mouth and just get the taste. Ooh, look at all that. Okay, that looks good. But we might put that moo cow cheese on it, or um, he could put Swiss cheese on his. But he loves these. They're on sale, so I got them, too. thought, you know what? He doesn't get much in life, so they're on sale. Let's get it. And I always, we always eat the cereal here. We've been eating it forever. And the last time I just ate it, it all came back up. I don't know, maybe my stomach's saying enough. Now, since I was little, my whole life, I never pour milk in my cereal. But, um, I saw this cereal. Now, I'm hoping it's in on sale. A good sale, too. That is usually $7.49. That was on sale $6.99. Big whip. Oh, let's see the expiration date. Oh, no, it's 24, 2024, that's good. Usually when it's on sale, it's going to expire. But this is Reese's Puffs, and I'm hoping it is chocolate and peanut butter. Looks like it, because I don't like peanut butter, but I try to make myself eat it. So I've never had it. Have you ever had this? So I'm hoping, and I'm going to try to pour milk in it, because this seems like something. And I might try milk in it. I don't know, and I don't know why I've never poured it. Milk in it. Probably because growing up, I, I grew up, uh, poor, so, you know, I just poured a little milk in a cup, and, and very rarely was I able to get cereal, to tell you the truth, and I don't remember, you know, I don't remember having cereal, I'm thinking I had it in the neighbors, I don't remember having cereal when I was little, I had it somewhere when I was other people's houses, but still, never put milk in there, but yeah, I'll let you know, unless you know, I hope there's chocolate also, unfortunately, Polly can't eat that, and I think I should do the chocolate chips already. I don't remember because this time of night I get real shaky because my body, besides it's burning up, I get the chills. So here's the snack pack puddings for our 
Mixer Medicine, and then I also, I feel like painting, so I'm trying to go fast. Got two of these, and I got a uh, strawberry jello for either dessert or just to make jello, and a uh, peach jello, hopefully for dessert. I'll make it for you guys, so I don't know, probably another month or so, maybe. I'll be able to. There's one of my milks, and look, it's already sweating. So it's about 69 out, I believe. So the people must be putting the heat on in their car because it shouldn't be sweating. The order went pretty quick. These are potato chips. I don't really buy them, but they're on sale for $3. And in the heat, you know, the normal person gets to sweat. Not that anyone's really normal, but Polly sweats. I'm not saying he's not normal, but you know what I mean. I don't sweat. So because he sweats a lot, it's good to have potato chips. Ooh, I almost dropped it. The camera. The phone. The camera phone. But, uh, ooh, I'm getting so hot as I'm shivering. Oh, that's what my body does. Anyhow, so it's good to replace your uh, potassium, I believe. No, sodium. Sodium. Whew. Too hot and cold all at once. So that's good. $3. That's a steal of a deal. And Polly and I love and anything and everything strawberry peach. So he had found this once and it was on sale. It's on sale again. So I got this again. I haven't tasted it, to tell you the truth. He always saves me one. Then I feel bad. I don't eat it. I leave it for him. And there's a, I think it's Tropicana brand. Um... Tropicana brand. Uh, I'm looking for that front picture. I don't know how they pick it, but you got to show some pictures like them. And they, you know. Anyhow, Tropicana strawberry peach out of this world. If it's on sale, I'll buy it. I've only done it twice, but they're good. I bought this. My stomach's been hurting real bad in my back, and I don't put heat on ever in the heat weather, hot weather. Like I say, it's about 69 now, but my house is a lot warmer, so if I get the chills really, really bad tonight, um, not when I'm sleeping. I don't, you can't leave this on when you sleep. But I'll put it on my stomach because I'm having terrible stomach cramps. So we'll see. But otherwise, I can't put heat on a hot body, a burning hot body. I showed you the puddings. I showed you the jello. And then we have four apples to, uh, I don't know, eat or do whatever, whatever we feel like. And I have this, um, protein, premier protein. Very expensive, but... I don't get any protein, so I can see it. I can see on my arms like I'm falling apart. I'm thin already, thinner than thin, and it's just like I'm losing muscle mass because I get no protein. So um, I always thought about protein shakes anyhow a few years ago, and I should have bought it then because they are outrageously priced now, but i got to figure some way to get protein in me. So what I already put away, I should have put the milk away because it's sweating, but if I pause this then... It will, it will just go boom, boom, and then we had part two, and we don't want that. So anyhow, I th I said this is the fourth, I believe, haul for August, grocery haul. It's just like a fill-in kind of thing. But anyhow, um, what was I going to say? Um, oh, yeah, so I bought, now listen up, listen up, so you don't come after me in the comments. Just kidding. I bought frozen strawberries and frozen pineapple. And you may say, well, how can you do that if you don't have a freezer? So the freezer part of my side-by-side -side fridge broke, I don't know, it seems like a year ago. I don't know, maybe isn't it nine months? I don't know, it's been broke for a long time, which isn't good. So what I do is, um, we want to make something with pineapples. So both the pineapples and the strawberry, right now you can put a frozen thing into the fridge because it keeps it cold. What I'm going to do is I'm going to put the strawberries, and, oh yeah, I was going to look for that front picture. It's called a thumbnail, and they give you choices, and I think you got to hold it on something for a while to get a choice. I'm not sure, but we'll just see. So anyhow, so I put the strawberries in a container in the fridge, and I put sugar on, and that will be for uh, dessert. And I think that I could show you, but it's pretty much just got to put it together. So that will be for that. I might do half for the dessert and half to make a compote. Um, the... Pineapples, I've never made a compote, but I might, or make sort of like a jelly, like a refrigerator jelly, but we want to make this dessert, um, but we have to time it together with something else that we got to buy, which would be ice cream, and I've talked about ice cream many a times, how we do ice cream without the freezer, and I think I answered it for someone, but anyhow, I feel like I'm going to pass out, I'm, I'm really shaking this time of night, this is how I get, so this is our little haul, the fourth haul. Have you tried any of this? And most importantly, have you tried any of these ideas? I never even look on the top. Interesting. I'd like to know what it tastes like in hot chocolate. 
feel guilty having hot chocolate because Polly can't have chocolate anymore. And I feel bad about that. But, you know, you told me, Mom, you should eat some things that you can have. So, I got it. But anyhow, we'll see if this cuts small. I got to hit real thin, like, or I can't eat it. So that's that. So that's my little fill-in haul. And we usually don't buy potato chips, but they were a good price. Like I said, we usually do the Cheerios. Actually, last time I ate the Cheerios earlier today, it kind of uh, came right back up. I didn't, like, throw up. It's like when you burp and it's kind of throw up in your throat. I know, I'm doing grocery hunt talking about puke. So I don't know if my stomach's saying enough or my gird is out of control. So anyhow, this is my haul, y'all. I don't know, it just feels like everyone says that. So that's it, a little fill-in one. Yep, there we are. And uh, have you ever tried anything strawberry peach? What are your favorite, favorite, uh, favorite, my mouth is dry, favorite flavors like a fruit? Like we like strawberry and peaches a lot. Um, and juice. We like cranberry juice with apple juice, and we like peach with white grape juice, peach anything. They had a peach juice at Tops. I wanted it so bad. It's too much money, so I just drooled over and another time when I'm not buying a bunch of other stuff. So, yeah, that's that. that that's my little haul. So I think I still have two, three, and four to put up, maybe. I'm not sure. But, yeah, there it is. Let me know if you've ever tried the cereal. Do you like potato chips? Um, and have you ever tried this? Have you ever even noticed this? I never even noticed these ideas. Oh, well, I'm not very, uh, observant. So for now, don't forget to subscribe, like, be kind to people you don't know what they're going through. Be the reason someone smiles today. Did I explain this? I feel like I can't talk about this. Well, if I did, I'm sorry, I'm going to say it again. So I got this because my stomach, I've been having cramps. I never would put a heating pan on because I'm burning my whole body. But I get the chills like now. I'm shivering, but I'm still burning. So sometimes I shiver so bad that I get to the point, I, it doesn't matter how I'm so hot, it doesn't matter. So I might put one on if because tonight I'm really cold. Usually in the evening, but sometimes in the day. Now it's any time I could be shivering and burning. But I'm always burning, but the shivering is new. And it's so bad today, it was really bad. Uh, it's just part of this, this thing I have. But, um, yeah, if I shiver real bad, I will put this on my stomach because the cramps are really bad. I think it's my IBS acting up. So, for now, that's my haul. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks for stopping by. See you again. Bye.